Hello everyone and welcome back. Today is a request. Um, when I was answering questions up on YouTube and someone asked about turning the Hawaiian sweet rolls into cinnamon buns. So I took the two recipes and combined them and I will show you how that turned out in just a minute. With every star, we are born again. Open your heart. We're going to begin with one third cup allulose, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, one half cup egg white powder, one quarter teaspoon regular yeast two teaspoons cream of tartar, one quarter teaspoon salt, one half teaspoon xanthan gum, and an option could be one teaspoon of cinnamon powder if you like it really cinnamony. Clean off your farm fresh eggs and then separate out one cup of liquid egg whites and reserve the yolks. Quick tip, if you end up with eggshells in your whites, use a larger bit of eggshell to fish it out and it sticks very nicely. Add the liquid egg whites into the powdered mixture and whisk to combine. I forgot the teaspoon of vanilla again, so I added it here. Turn on high and beat until stiff peaks form. About five minutes. Reduce speed to half and slowly add five yolks, waiting until each one is combined before adding the next. I turn the speed back up for just a few seconds to clear the whisk. I forgot to press record. What's in the mixing bowl is one half cup butter and four tablespoons brown swerve. And we are now adding one tablespoon of cinnamon powder. Make sure that your butter is soft so that you can mix and incorporate them fully. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper and spray with oil. Then dish out about half of the batter with your ice cream scoop. I did not spray my scoop at all and it worked perfectly fine. For this part, it kind of worked, but I would recommend that you melt it down a little bit more and then put it into a Ziploc bag, cut the tip off so that you can pipe the topping directly onto the rolls and you don't have to do this funny little scoopy thing that I'm doing right now. Then top each roll with one more scoop of fluff. Once that's done, sprinkle with cinnamon powder and brown swerve. Bake in a 325 degree oven for 20 minutes. I only show 15 minutes here. I had to add an extra five. Add 
I did not let them rest in the oven. I pulled them out as soon as the timer went off. Then I took a toothpick and I poked holes, about four holes, in each of the rolls to release a little bit of the steam. They hardly fell at all. All right, so here they are, cooled off. I pulled them out a few, eh, it's been like an hour, I'm gonna be real. We've been extremely busy cooking, dishwasher's going, the dogs are whining. Welcome to my life, it's a little crazy. One of these days I'm gonna do an Instagram live and I'm gonna cook and y'all are gonna get to see exactly what happens behind the scenes every time I try to cook something and record one of these videos. This is uh, the frosting from the Magic Pumpkin Cake. I'll link that up there so that you can make that. This is the cream cheese one. Or you could just use the, the recipe from the previous cinnamon buns. I'll link that up there too. So here we go. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite. Wow. Is that a cinnamon roll? That's totally different from the last cinnamon buns. Oh my goodness. That tastes like Cinnabon. <laughs> it seriously tastes like Cinnabon. There's no way. Did you just make Cinnabon? I'm going to make Cinnabon. Don't talk about it in your mouth, Mom. <laughs> wow. Mm. Okay, so that was an excellent suggestion. <laughs> oh my gosh. The name of the person that asked me to do it, I'm gonna put him up right over here. So I don't remember, I'm gonna look it up, but. Oh my goodness, this can be breakfast, Thanksgiving, or Christmas morning. Wow, okay. It's, it, it's very, very soft and chewy. It doesn't taste or have the texture of egg at all. And do the cream cheese frosting, just just do it, just go with it. Oh my gosh, unless you're dairy free, then I'm sorry. But, wow, okay, I'm gonna go eat this. Bernie is gonna come have one too, because <laughs> wow. Um, thank you for checking in with us today. <laughs> Please do all of the things. And next Saturday, I am going to do Thanksgiving early. Girls and I are gonna whip up the entire Thanksgiving meal so that we can show you exactly what we're, we're just gonna have it early, honestly. Um, Cause being a military family, you learn real quick to celebrate when you can. So it's okay. We're gonna celebrate on Saturday and we will show you guys what that looks like. So you can see our entire spread from beginning to end. Uh, carnivore options, keto options. There won't be any standard American diet options because that stuff doesn't come into the house if I can help it. So thanks so much guys for checking in and we will see you on the way. Bye on what that's going i know put my earbuds in so it's pointing forward so Sorry. i'm hoping i just wanted to kind of i wanted to yeah. say something before it went too far no thank you i appreciate that Sorry. so i was answering questions up on the sweet hawaiian rolls it's sweet hawaiian hawaiian <laughs> uh -huh. like shift some things in the background or something boop that's it. Okay. There's a fly over there. Ow! I did get cut. Oh, you got cut? Stupid thing. <laughs> Doing my job. They kind of melted. They melted? They, they, they did. They completely melted. You didn't have to like cut them. I'm gonna eat. My man. <laughs> oh, I need to get frosting on it. <laughs> Cut the face, Mom. Yeah, 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 I know. Okay. They okay. look really yummy. I need a little plate, please. Little plate? Yeah. Oh, and look. Magical knife. Yes. Does she need help? Oh, no. Okay. So I'm going to pull one of these off after Vernie lets the dogs out. 
So, I'm recording still? Oh yeah, that's there. <laughs> so, that was funny. It's like, oh yeah, man. I'm not done yet. But I wanna try a cinnamon roll, but. Wait till the bloopers, give me a second.